is Jamdin developers this is Jamdin guys so 29 tutorial in this tutorial we will be creating a fast and responsive splash screen just like this if we go to our project then we will see our splash screen that will come at first and then we will get navigated to our main page so in order to create such type of project go to file new and then project then select cross platform as we are doing cross platform app for our android project and then select a name as you like and then click on ok after that you can select any project that is portable as well as shared project in Xamarin forms we will be basically talking about root project rather than project that are targeting both android as well as ios so inside our app.xaml we have to add their xaml part as well as .cs part here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded we can give any name to the label text as you like i'll be in my main page state okay now let us create a new splash screen activity inside our android project this is my splash activity and we have to create it by going to add new item and then select activity and then give as splash activity dot cs in order to save my time i'll drag and drop my simple line of course and i'll try to explain it the activity class means that it generates an activity element within an android manifest.xaml in order to implement this activity element we have to inherit a theme from themes.splash that will be placed inside our styles.xaml that is our resources folder we have to go to our resources folder and then inside our values here it will be my styles.xaml then we have to represent a certain theme inside this here themes means styles that will be called inside our splash activity i will be giving that name as theme.splash and his parent is android.theme that will be inherited from android resources here i will be placing my splash screen inside my style so that i will call that splash screen from my drawable folder of android project that will be placed over here after using a naming convention as theme.splash we will be calling this style inside our splash activity now let us go to our splash activity.cs here main launcher is equals to true means that our page will be loaded at first from here and no storage equals to true means that no storage will be remaining back and i'll be giving that icon image from here only as drawable slash scc after this activity gets invoked then i have to pass this activity towards my main activity then we should make this activity slip for near about 500 milliseconds then this threading will be slip for our 500 milliseconds then we'll pass this activity towards our main activity by type of and then main activity that's all we have to disable our main activity main launcher as false as we are starting our activity from splash activity here i have represented main launcher is equal to true now let us build and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not build is getting started then it should show me a correct output as you can see over here and then it should let me to go to my main page ok we got our expected output that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials